right, I will show you guys how I prep a snap. I mean, before I start this, there is no right or wrong way. I've seen it done all kinds of different ways. This is just how I do it. So I dump the washer off, put these things on here. Cause it really sucks doing this in the air. So usually like on a Monday or something, you prep enough for the whole week. Those are the strength member holders and the drop holders I leave in the bag because sometimes you use none, sometimes you use two and put those together as needed. A lot of guys use two zip ties in each hole. I just use one. Never had a zip tie fail. Sometimes I get a 7 16 bit and put it on the drill, makes it a little faster. Saves on the wrists. Just like a spin and a half or so, and pull these little tampon pads out. Maxi pads, whatever they are. Tighten them back up. Put the tray in, do not strap it, because that's the first thing that comes out when you install one. So it is useless to put the strap in. So most of the stuff out here is all new plant that we built. So I usually set the snap at the lowest setting. But like on other networks, you would wanna make it higher because the package would be bigger than you're adding to it. So I, this is called like a strand lash setup, naked strand. A bigger way I'd call it, set it up to over lash. I mean, probably 90% of the time, this is the setting. So if it ever needs to be changed, I just adjust them in the field because most of the time they will be like this. And I put my little rubber grommets on the outside. Some guys put it in between the bracket and here, but I mean, to me, it doesn't really matter. And then I put these in here, and then once in a while, I'll build the Deltec to put it in, but that's it. Doesn't take very long. And like, I'll just make strips of the seven spacers and heads like this and I'll just keep them in my bag. So I might as well show y'all how we prepped the ONT for this fiber to the home network as well. I mean it's really easy but pretty much we get these bulk heads in a bag. I always start at the top back, click it in from that side, then we'll grab a pigtail. I always wrap it clockwise, clock, clockwise with the pigtail. Once again, I don't know, there's a this is just the way I do it probably do this 20 different ways all that really matters is if you're doing stuff like this you do it the same way every time and that way everything everyone everyone's house looks the same
And usually I do like a whole box of these at a time. And that's it. And then when your fiber comes in, it'll come up here, wrap around, clip in there, and then do that and the splice will go right here. I might as well show you the uh this is the other style ONT. These ones look better on houses. These ones usually go inside because they uh, usually have uh, the modem clicks right in here. But it's the same idea. Splices in here, your fiber comes in, spins around this, clicks in there, splice goes there, mounts on the wall, nice, nice. So uh, a lot of size difference. But this one carries a modem and all the guts. This one is just patches through and the modem goes inside the house. Yes, sir.